The first Google Tensor chipset was launched in 2021 and it powered the Google Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro and also the last year's Pixel 6a. But unlike the other flagship chipsets by Qualcomm or MediaTek, the GPU or the CPU performance was not the main highlight of the first Google Tensor chipset. Instead, its main USP was the AI performance and image processing. Last year with the Google Pixel 7 series, we got the Tensor G2 chipset, which surprisingly did not have any upgrade in the CPU cores, except for the clock speeds. It also had the same weird 2 plus 2 plus 4 core configuration as the previous generation. There was a better GPU, but the main upgrade was in the TPU or Tensor Processing Unit, which was 60% more powerful and 20% more efficient than the last generation. This year, the upcoming Pixel 8 series will be powered by the Tensor G3 chipset and unlike the Tensor G2 which did not have any major upgrade in the CPU or GPU performance over the previous generation, the Tensor G3 is going to be a significantly better SoC than the Tensor G2. That is based on the specifications of the Tensor G3 which were shared by Android Authority. Starting off with the CPU, the Tensor G3 has a completely different CPU and core configuration in general. Instead of a 2 plus 2 plus 4 configuration that we saw last year, the Tensor G3 has a 1 plus 4 plus 4 configuration. In simple words, there is a 9 core CPU instead of a traditional 8 core CPU. As for the specific cores, there is one big Cortex X3 core that is clocked at up to 3 GHz. Then there are four Cortex A715 cores clocked at up to 2.45 GHz. And finally, there are four Cortex A510 cores clock that up to 2.15 GHz. This CPU upgrade also means that the Tensor G3 can now get very close to the CPU performance of some of the best chipsets in the market, such as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or Dimensity 9200. Next up, let us talk about the GPU. The first Google Tensor had a Mali G78 GPU with 20 cores, but with the Tensor G2, Google went for a Mali G710 GPU with 7 cores. Now with the upcoming Google Tensor G3 chipset, we are getting the Mali G715 GPU with 10 cores. This 10 core G715 GPU is also known as the Immortalis G715. And yes, this is the same GPU that is present in the Dimensity 9200. This GPU is unique because it is the first GPU by ARM that offers hardware-based ray tracing support on mobile. So yeah, the GPU is also getting a big upgrade over the last generation. And speaking of the other upgrades, Tensor G3 has an upgraded TPU codenamed Rio that is clocked at 1.1 GHz, an upgraded DSP or Digital Signal Processor, AV1 encoding, and support for UFS 4.0 storage. It is also reported that the Tensor G3 will be built on the Samsung's 4 nanometer process and will have the same Exynos 5300 modem that was present in the last year's Tensor G2. And well, that is all about the Google Tensor G3. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.